Frank is amazing. Aliens. Hi. What about Regina? Regina's amazing too, people. Just, just I guess my mom wrote it. <laughs> By the way, Regina's mom goes to every show. That re- anytime I've been at a show where Regina's on the show, she has twelve people in the audience. I don't know who. I love your, your family. Your family is so into you. But you know what? I like when they co- like if it's a show with you. I know it's going to be good. I've always because I always They're felt like so Frank nice. could be family. Yeah. So I'd always talk to my mom about Frank. And it was comforting Frank to be about, around her family because yeah. most of mine have passed away. So I love your family. right. And then my, and then my mom, I've, she's listened to Fat Pig, so she knows most of Frank's oh. family's passed away. So I think she met him and was like Frank. Your pa- your she was very she sweet. Does your mom have your voice? No. Does anyone no. have your voice? No. Your grandfather? No. So where? I have no idea. Are where you I adopted? Came from. No. Maybe you screamed a lot as a child. Maybe, you I screaming a lot. <laughs> did you have? Well, you know did you funny? ever so, check what? your vocal cords to see? Well, this is what's funny. So now the, uh, I did a couple of shows. With, like I did this show, and this woman comes to me after. She's like, "Oh my God, you were hilarious!" And I said, "Thanks." And she's like, "My friend wants to meet you." I'm like, "Anything for a fan." And she said, "She's a speech <laughs> pathologist, and she thinks you have polyps." <laughs> So I run into this woman in the bathroom, and she's, like, making me do vocal exercises. And then she's like, does it hurt when you talk? And I was like, it doesn't hurt me, but I feel like it hurts you. <laughs> like, what? So she gives me her card. Oh my God. So then I do this joke. I, so I tell the story at a show, and this guy comes up to me after. He's like, that was really funny. He was like, and honestly, like, I am a speech pathologist, and I feel like you're okay. Really? But then I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of those people that you never knew that before that you could sing, but you can sing? Right. I, I think I can sing, but I feel like I should try to sing. I think so. Go ahead, sing. Like musical I don't know comedy. anything. Duet. Something. Sing anything. Let's know. sing a duet. The wing beneath my wings. A, a duet? What's the, song? the wing beneath like, my wings. Sing it with Frank. Sunny and Cher. Sunny and Cher. The beat goes on. <laughs> I got you, babe. Come on. John's uh, right, getting pounding a riddle <laughs> to oh. my brain. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. It's like see, you're good. Talking songs. Talking songs. I feel like I could do somebody singing, but then I don't know what me singing sounds. That's I. That's what I do. That right, like I could do an impression of somebody singing. Yeah, I'm like, what? What do I sound like? I don't know. Such a good. It was like the same voice, but I think I ruined it. You could do Axl Rose, Janis Joplin. I can't do it anymore. But you can do that. I used to be able to kill it. Yeah. I Give us a little. At a karaoke. It's gone. It's gone. At a karaoke. It died. It stopped. How old are you? Oh, you don't mind. Like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be able to really do it. That is a little Axl Rosey. You got it. Wait a minute. It's gone. You know, oh, you Scott to Scott Curie used to do the great. I can't do it anymore. I love Janice. Take me down to the where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. It's gone. I used to really do it well. Take me home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's our vocal range. <laughs> you ever see the people at a karaoke? I'd rather hear that than Kristen Chenna with, with that little baby helium voice yeah. that yeah. all of them sing with yeah. now. Yeah, I don't get Why that. Why is it you listen to That's all? Like my parents would have, like, say, Oklahoma or Carousel, right. the albums. But now everybody is like, Dear Evan Hansen, I'm affected and gay. Like, they all have that same kind of like. That's fucking, right. Yeah. Why can't they yeah. just be yeah. truthful? It trends, and, like, like they can't be their own person. That's popular. right. Popular. Like that horrible. I have video of guys that on the cruise doing the karaoke that I had to film. Like it was that comical. <laughs> it's so hurtful. Were they selling it? They were selling it. They were. It was so bad. I'll show it to you after. Uh, this guy was like, you could tell he sits in front of his house. He's a complete nerd. Sits in front. This was his one shot to show the audience who he is. Right. And he sang it and he laid on the floor. I mean, he really. Oh. It, yeah. Sold it. Well, points for selling it. I, I mean, feel like, right? If you're good, go then, big or go home. Then they go, let's go to the comedy show, and I'm like, I'm not. I don't want to go. They're like, just Who let's go. It? Let's go. I don't remember oh, yeah. his name. So I'm sitting in the comedy show for five fucking minutes, and I'm looking at my husband. And I go, I, 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 this guy's horrible. I, I can't do this. <laughs> and then, I, and I don't normally say that, but he had no material, and I guess this was his second. 45 minutes set, so the first 45 oh. minutes set. Okay, he they, used everything up. He had nothing left. So now he's in there going, where are you from? And where are you from? Oh, okay, who, we know who got the better end of the deal. And then he's going over to his water looking at his notes, and I'm like, what notes? You're not even doing material. Me? I wanted to go, <laughs> can, can I? You want to heckle. Let me come up for five minutes. Let me just do the rest of your set. <laughs> Get yeah. No, watching bad comedy. You oh, can't. it's so bad. I, I do. I want to heckle when I see bad comics. It's like, Patty. No, I do. I want to like. Ed. I want to fucking say something because it sucks. You get so angry. Like I, I was understand. Angry. I left. You when you want to like, I went to casino like, and I lost four hundred fifty fucking dollars. That's how angry I was. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done karaoke. I'd love to do karaoke. I don't know what my song would be. 
do theater. I'd like to do show tunes. The Rows are the greatest love of all. Everyone yeah, does. Everybody oh, does. no, that's I, I would do something oh, more. Oh, they do Bonnie Raitt, too. People like Zuckett. What's Let's the one give with them something to I like that's a hard song to sing. About. What's the one with the <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one with the eyes, big eyes, Debbie Debbie Davis, Betty Davis big eyes. eyes. What's that song? Patty, nobody knows who you're talking about. The one with the big eyes. We're, we're going back to nineteen oh three, everybody. Like? Betty da- you got Marty Betty Feldman. Davis eyes. Oh, Kim Carnes. Yeah, she had a she had a voice oh, like you. Yes. Yeah. She had a range of like four notes right. and it was like this. She, you look up Kim Carnes, she's you. That's, That's funny. right. Thank you for thinking of that name. Somebody Who says hi to you. Oh, yay. Oh, and by the way, Brian, Brian Play-Doh was on, but Brian, we already said hello to you, Brian, before but you let were let him on. know. Okay, but just so you know, we did say hello That's to you. Good. Oh, yeah, Brian. Play-Doh. Frank is a bear of a man. Woo! Oh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Why are you rolling your eyes? I love being compared to an overweight animal with shits <laughs> and uh, I compare my husband to that all the time. Rec centers are overrated. Just throw. Who's overrated? Rec centers. Come on, Remember you tried to bring them back a couple minutes ago? I now it would be like a back. children's museum. It wouldn't be a rec center anymore. <laughs> a children's museum donated to me. Or a boxing ring. A boxing ring? Yeah, someone rifle get the range. aggression. That be in the Can you imagine a rifle, rifle range on 131st Street in Orleans for the children? Teach them how to fucking shoot, shoot accurately. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Absolutely. First sexual experiences. Here we go, folks. Quickly, because we're, we're out of time. Accurately. We're at an hour. Okay, very, okay. We have, we're at an hour, but go ahead. Hour and a 15. Regina, let's start with you. But this is so much fun. Me? Yeah, so I've never, fun. we've never asked this, have we? First no. sexual experience? I don't even know your first sexual experience. Patty, Gary. let's not talk about my sex. <laughs> I will tell you it, though. Go. Okay. Regina. Oh, I'm Regina doesn't want to. That's weird. I don't want to talk about that. My family's we, like, yeah, me and Frank yeah, don't want to talk about that. Oh, you're not talking about that? No, I don't want to talk about oh, that. Oh, all right, we won't talk about that. Carrie, you want to tell me yours? <laughs> my first <laughs> one? Yeah, how old were you? I was 28. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> so it just happened. You were... <laughs> You were in high school. I was 20. Oh, you can't tell because your daughter's listening. I was 28 years old, and I was still a virgin. Okay. All right, there's no story. Come you on. You mean that- like sexual experience or like with my dad? <laughs> I'm sorry. That That's is not funny. hilarious. Right. Not funny. I just thought, come on, first time? I'll be more vulnerable, though, now. I got Botox today. <laughs> Did you wear? You yeah. did not. Yeah, I'm scared yeah, I did. to they do it. They take a week to show up. I'm scared to do it. Where'd Why you get are you scared? Done? Did it hurt? It looked the like needle? there was a fucking sandpiper colony crawling around on my forehead. Okay. What I are you see. talking about? It looks, it looks look. natural, did to it, be honest. Did it Is that the camera? Yeah, that's the hurt? camera. Look, why not? Can you see did it hurt my emotions? It did hurt a little bit. Yeah, burns. It did hurt. How many did they do? I don't know. It was like thirty-seven needles. It doesn't hurt. Mm-mm. But yeah, it hurt. But sometimes you see when people are crazy. You don't look crazy. Well, it's not. Because it's because I didn't do anything. I just did like the I oh, needed no. it. I did the welts. You should have done just this. I can't. That needs filler. It's too strong on a man. What do you mean it needs? You got to squirt in some filler. It's there? It's different. It's not. You can't do. I could. I can't do this with. It's called the glabel. <laughs> yeah, we're the, all like. It's called what is, the what kind of filler? Juvederm or something. I forget oh, yeah. what this is called. Glabella. The uvula, ass on the face. You clitoris. <laughs> the clitoris needs. No, this needs filler. You can't do this with Botox. Well, what kind of filler? It's too strong. Sand. Juvederm. Juvederm, Juvederm is oh, the name of it. That's what they put in. That. I would never. You know the people who have this, and then you, you ever see like Bill Maher now? He's just like this now. There's he's no, ready. He's there's ready. no lines down. Everything is like he's like ready for the coffin. You know, Elliot Spitzer, same thing. His face I, on the last time I saw him, oh, these guys. What? You don't need to get rid of your wrinkles. I want everything. Like, I want it all. I want everything now. Oh, my God, you're fine. I want to get rid of the dark circles under no, my you eyes. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. D- your don't, character, don't. You're crazy. I don't think people are talking about men doing this stuff. Do you know what all I mean? All I did was some real. Botox. My forehead, it just it showed all the... It, the my, I looked horrible ever since everybody died, ever since there were all those losses. Like, it, ha- it was almost like overnight. I just wanted to, Did they all know, die at the same year? What happened? My father, my mom, three months later. My best friend of 32 years, a year later. And then my sister, a year later, was diagnosed. You're shitting me. Is Wait, your sister, sister still around? No, she alive? Did, lasted for a year. With cancer? With breast cancer. cancer, yeah. Oh, my God. She's from Long Island? Mm-hmm. It's like there's uh, a lot of breast cancer from like Long Island. Why is six. that? Because Long knows? Island's a dumping ground. They don't know if it's what is it called, Lipa now or Lilco. They don't know if it's that or the water or what. But it's like on Long Island, it's an epidemic. Mark Rader is women. a comic from. Uh, remember, he was from Long Island. Remember, Mark Rader? He died of cancer. A lot of Ball people. cancer. I don't know which. Uh, he had a uh, 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 bone cancer. Um, he had it through his bones. My mother had breast cancer in the early 70s, but beat it. So. 
I don't know what it is out what it what it is out there. But why why did your parents die so young though? Did they have cancer? No, they were in their eighties. They had me in their. Oh. They, my parents okay, had me so in their forties. Okay, so they 40s. died oh. three months apart because they wanted to be together. Yeah. That was well, that that was sixty the, years. Yeah. They were married oh. for nine years. Oh wow! My my sister and my best friend. That those were tragic. My parents weren't tragic. It was just sad. Because yeah, I lost them. Do my you have father any other died two years ago. Was What's sad. that? Yeah, my father died two years ago. That's very hard. A year and a half ago. It's like you really become an adult, you know, when you lose it's a It's like he, he, I had a weird dream about him last night. What? And it was so fucking real that I, he, he was, uh, I was with him on a, on a running track on a cruise ship. And I go to him, you're the only one left. I go, I miss you. I love you so much. I love you. And I miss you. And he's like, I love you too. I love you so much. I'm like. And I kept saying to him, Mommy died, Mommy died, and I never cried for Mommy. And then all of a sudden I broke down hysterically crying, and he was consoling me because I guess I never really cried for my father. Did your mother pass away? No. You, oh, my she's mother's still alive. But, but you dreamt that she passed away. Right. But he, he was consoling me, and I was like, I never really cried. And I went hysterical because I didn't cry for my father because my father was in a wheelchair at the end with the dementia so bad uh -huh. where it was like my father was like an ox he was like physically fit right he could break this table in half I mean, right, to right, see right, right. him like that you know not being able I to walk. forget what because i never remember my dreams and i had one about my dad it was like something horrible happened to a friend of mine and he kept wanting to tell me to listen to bob marley and bruce springsteen my father in real life doesn't even wouldn't have known who those people right. even are mm. And it was something about, like, sometimes it's more about, like, the other person than yourself in the dream. In other words, him never crying for you or you know. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it, like, she was explaining to me that they tr it transfers sometimes. And it's your psyche moving stuff Who's around. Who's she? A therapist? Yeah, Susan. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Susan. I like that. It's interesting. Anyway, it was very real. When I w and then the very next dream, it was I had a dream that me and Sam were on a plane, and it rolled, and then it was going straight <gasps> down. What did you have, spaghetti at midnight? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Fuck it. I hate planes. Pork meatballs. I hate, I hate planes. planes. I hate, I hate planes. planes. Flying. I don't, I, I don't like it because the seats are did uncomfortable. Did you ever have a bad experience? Yes. Yeah, I had I wrote notes one. in my pocket and said, love you, Mom. At the first time, because <laughs> I thought I was going down. I wrote notes. I hope these notes make it. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I After the shock regurgitating it, it, whatever my that fucking you, body. Well, these notes should be fine. I, I hope I'm one of the three corpses they fish out of the ruins. <laughs> so these notes in I'm my sure pocket. I'm sure this napkin will hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the napkin they give you with the peanuts. That's exactly what I wrote on it. And it was... <laughs> It was one of those little, like, what do you call those planes that go between the oh, other plane God. and the other? Oh, puddle jumpers. It, it was like this. Kill yourself <laughs> planes. <laughs> They're and horrible. And they said, okay, we're running. We need to get gas. And the thing's going like this. I'm like, we're fucking dying. I'm dying. But then I, I don't know why I never got a, I never got nervous. I like, I never think I I'm going to die on a plane. I, I never planes. think. I always tell myself, I always say there's more car accidents That's than right. plane accidents. And but they're not I all say, fatal. No, but usually say whoever like I'm with. Because I, I feel like the worst part, I would always, <laughs> I like would get so obsessed true. with death sometimes like i'm very scared of like losing yes. people yes and then sometimes i was like am i scared of losing like but if i went i'm like i wouldn't have to be dealing with the loss of other people like you know what i don't know if i'm afraid of loss or i'm afraid of dying but you don't want like, to plummet i don't want to no, plummet it down don't. i don't want to plummet the down worst but i i tell myself i'm like i how planes, about that plane that landed in mac okay. and backyard <laughs> in on long island remember Recently? that oh you mean oh yeah in long, island. long island queens when the pe the chunks of the aircraft yes landed that in. was after the no yeah, when yeah. i was on a plane going to los angeles we were landing it turned out we were landing during a tornado watch Ugh. and i remember it was virgin and i remember the the stewardess you're not allowed to say that what do you call them now flight attendant they look oh. scared whore. The, the, the whore looked nervous <laughs> whore. like when when whore. they look nervous <laughs> Something's wrong. The middle seat was empty. I was on the aisle. The woman in the window seat said to me, she said, can I hold your hand? If somebody asks Seriously. what I look like, if they ask me to hold my hand, <laughs> looking like ISIS, like, do you, you want to your hold box my fucking hand? your other hand and then hold my hand. <laughs> 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 you put this vomit bag over your head and you can hold my hand. Cover your hand. You don't up. look like ice. Slut. Maybe. I don't now anymore. I used to Maybe more. That's a funny you do that in your winter. act. I'm not, I'm not tan. Wait for it. <laughs> I have to say one thing. Wait for it. Go ahead. I don't like flying because I always think of that. But I went to Vegas once and the fucking winds were so strong that he couldn't land the plane. And when you Horrible. look at the you look at the sand. 
and you're like, oh, it looks soft, even if we did crash, but then sand. So he takes us to L.A. I go to the girl. Now, I called my mother. Right, the girl next everybody. to me called her. I said, we're dying, blah, blah, blah. It was over. Because you were dropping out of the sky like, poof. That's and you're like, whoa. Yeah. And scary. this kept going on and on and on. Finally, he pulls into L.A. And I go to the girl, do you want to, do you want to, rent the car i'll drive it six hours we'll be there and then i'm thinking six hours driving and then i got a show at eight o'clock at the trop I, i'm not gonna make this i mean i'm gonna be miserable fucking exhausted because it was like a red eye all night long so i the guy goes okay ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna try to make it back and i go i go up to him i go listen uh, sir why do we have to try to make it back why can't we wait till the winds die down he goes because the winds never die down they, they right now this time of the year we're going to try to make it back if it doesn't work we're going to return the plane around we're going to come back as soon as we get half hour and as soon as we get towards vegas again it starts dropping down and dropping down and i'm like oh my god finally he's like and now meanwhile all the flights got diverted there so they packed our plane like sardines where before we had mm. right, yeah, that's so now all the other flights came in and sat on our fucking we're like this <sighs> so now we're dropping out of the sky. Drop. Finally, he's just like going like this, and you see it going like this, and you see it going like this, and you see it going like this, and you're like, oh my God, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? And he touches down. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. My opening joke. You could feel the buildings in Vegas going like this from all that wind. My opening joke was I'm like, I apparently Delta's not afraid of a little fucking wind, and the whole place started fucking laughing. Because they probably it's have a known them. thing. And they all have to fly in. Jessica Kirsten told me that. She and Danny Cohen, it was a Vegas thing. I think they were leaving. Well, I don't remember if they, but it was the Vegas thing. I heard this before. And I'd never heard it since, and this is the first time. It's a thing with the dropping up and down. I guess it's a certain time of year. She said they were both crying. They thought it was the end. I heard you know, that you about You know what me. they gave us? A free airline ticket. Round oh, wow. Two. I thought you were going to say an orange no, for they some gave reason. Us a free <laughs> like a snack, an extra they snack. They gave us an orange. Wait a minute. Because it was so horrible. They yeah, gave they gave us ticket. a free airline ticket round trip. But what time of year is this so I make sure? Because it has to be I the time no of year, idea. right? I have no I don't remember. But I'll tell you another story. I, I got to do. I got booked to do Alaska, Fairbanks. And then oh my God. The, you fly into Fairbanks, and then you go from place to place to place to place for a week. Why would you want to do that? Because the, the money was really Why good. Why are you going to Alaska? Oh, I would love that. And it was, so it was during the Northern Lights. They, they're thriving. They, 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 I'm not they're thriving. They're dying for entertainment. What's Northern Lights? When it's the, always when it's dark. dark all the time? Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the opposite Imagine. of what you just. No, no. <laughs> <It was> so <laughs> now he goes. I call up, I get booked, I'm excited, I'm going to Alaska for a week. I call up Al Romas and I go, Al, I'm going to Fairbanks. He goes, oh, he goes, you're going to do that gig? I go, yeah. He goes, you fly to Fairbanks? He goes, yeah, and then you're going to you take the puddle jumper to the next t place? And the puddle jumper to the next I go, what, what do you mean puddle jumper? He goes, <laughs> oh, the little propeller planes. There's like six fucking people. Horrible. In he goes, it's the most terrifying fucking ride <laughs> of right. your life for 20 minutes. I go... I called up Tom Walkwell. I go, I'm not doing it. He goes, what are you talking about? I go, I, I can't do it. He's like, what do you mean you can't do it? I go, I talked to Al Romas. He told me it was a puddle jumpers. <laughs> I can't do puddle horrible. jumpers. Horrible. They're horrible. Horrible. You do think you're going to die Because well, you time. can hear everything, and it's like everybody's so close. Pat, 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 like, you're going to tell me that it. all those pat. six people tell the truth about their pat. fucking weight? <laughs> when you no. get on that plane? No, they don't. <laughs> of course funny. not. <laughs> they should weigh them before they bring them. The on. wood, the paneling, I'm 5'11", if I'm lucky. The paneling was touching my head, and it was like <laughs> it was like a, a Plymouth Horizon where the roof is sagging, and it's the couple in front of us. It was a seat, to, a seat with no middle. They were they had no window. It was horrific from San Juan to Vieques, that puddle jumper. I was like, this is the end of my life. It's okay. <laughs> I will never do a puddle jumper. I made jumper. people laugh. I had a little. You know, I never made a lot of money, but I was I followed my heart. <laughs> Yeah, no, I have can't. A you I your drive it. If, I can, if I can drive, like I drove from Colorado to Laramie, or like I'll drive now if I don't have to do a puddle jumper because it's horrible. Terrifying. Oh my god! Even the regular planes when they're going horrible. up, you feel like it's gonna fall back. You're like, oh. And I've had shit happen. Like I remember, I, I was on a plane. My Johnny's in the middle. This is a stranger on the aisle, and it smelled like a tanning salon. It smelled like burning Why? skin. And I go to Johnny, "Do you smell that? You know how you have people that are like partners in worry and people that don't care." He's right. like, "Yeah, I smell it." <laughs> A woman on the aisle looks over to me and she goes, I smell it. Something's wrong. <laughs> so then we hear, ladies and gentlemen, this is, do they call it a captain? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot or captain? Pilot speaking. This oh, is yeah. your pilot speaking. <laughs> 
Um, can you imagine it was one of the subway people? <laughs> anyway, oh he goes, you may be smelling something that smells rem- remotely similar to fried chicken. A bird has flown into the engine, and we have oh. to make a landing. Now, we had that a land. That can make you crash. It can make you crash. They were like, it's That's nothing like to worry Sully. about. That's what happened with yeah. Sully. They catch on fire. Who's Sully? The guy who landed on the Hudson. On the, the, Hudson, the, on the Hudson. Hudson. It's, not, the- it's not safer than the ground. You know what? Like, oh. I've bumped people at lights. That's what they're including. No, no. The birds the hit birds into Sully's into plane, and he I'm made a I'm saying driving is not safer than flying. You know, they say no, oh, it's no. safer on the ground. It's not. It's a fucking, that's a lie they tell you so you don't vomit. It's, oh, you're saying it isn't safer no, in the No, it's air. not safer than it is on the ground. Like, you have fender benders every day. They're including that. Most car accidents aren't fatal. If a bird flies into the engine... You're at, dying. At best, you land in the fucking river and have a stroke <laughs> and live 10 years less. That's the best-case scenario. Yes. And never fly again. You shit yourself. Uh, so what happened? You fucking landed? We had a land, and people wearing orange came Because on it only affected one... Propeller. One of the propellers. I get we landed. We had to make an emergency landing. People came on the plane and walked around and looked nervous, and then we went back. Today, I would have to get off. I mean, now, you stayed on that plane and went back up after they took yeah, the I'm bird out? positive. Oh, my God. <gasps> no, I wouldn't. They Let me tell you something. It. They served it. Why they can't they it. figure out a way to get those birds, like, have... Have a, have a, a fucking screen. A, another screen there so the bird right. hits the screen and bounces off. What the fuck? Yeah, they should have that. Hey, did you ever see the picture of... Uh, Who's the guy? Yeah, why? That's such an easy, obvious thing. Why can't they keep the bird? Because out of the I engine? think the propellers are so powerful, they suck the screen in. Probably. Who's There's got to be. Oh. There has to be a way, though. The yeah. bird's like a genius. Get metal. Redeeming. The metal that makes the bridges. The Who's bugs. the guy that was on the uh, roller coaster with the long hair? Fabio. Did you Fabio, ever see Fabio bird, with the bird? bird flew in his face? It was so Oh, my perfect. God. It was no, what all was bloody that? on his face. It was a famous you know, he's picture. Like, he's like Mr. Beautiful with the long, beautiful Yeah, but it's like what a happened? romance novel. A bird yeah. hit him in the face on and a roller coaster. On a roller coaster, coaster the bird flew into no his face. No way. Yeah. That's so funny. Blood, everything. And he, there's a picture of it with the bird stuck now in his what, face. What happened? Where did he hit him? In right in the face. While and he it, was on the roller coaster. And he had to get stitches two. and plastic surgery and stuff. Famous picture. I'm going to look it up for you. You are. <laughs> you can show well, it to I our gotta camera. I can tell you. Is it, on this it day, it says there's a picture of a duck. Can you see it? Yeah. Is it showing up? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. It's a little bright. Oh, it's bright? That's too bright? Oh. On this day. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> there he is. Holy shit, he broke his nose. Yeah. Yeah, look how bloody. There is something about I a guy. I never thought he was good looking. See, God punishes beauty. He's vain. <laughs> vanity is a, isn't the vanity a sin? I, I never thought he was good looking. I never find guys who are supposed to be good looking good looking. He's got a box j- jaw, whatever. He I looks like, like uh, Matt. Remember that? He has the same fucking hair as Christy Brinkley. <laughs> Men aren't supposed to wear that hair like Christy that. That is Christy Brinkley. <laughs> She's on hormones. She's on steroids. She's a power lifter Christy, now. my sister just said to me, have you seen Christy Brinkley's face lately? For the longest, she goes, for the longest time, she looked 40, 40, 40, 40. Now you look at her, she's got like, she what had, she, had she did too much shit. Like, she's always Stories. looked like she didn't have stuff done. Right. And now it's like, apple cheek, this, I mean... Let it go when it's you're too, eight, when you're you, seventy. You, let it fucking you go, go, man. You can look fifty let when go. you're seventy. All right, uh, we should probably end, right? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> but everybody loves you guys. Everybody oh, loves you few. guys. Let's see if there's any other do, any other comments we need to. What happened to Manny? Manny left. Manny us. left. Manny's gone. He I fucking mean, hated us. He yeah. Hated what happened? It. Why did he leave? He's upset. As soon as he heard you were married, it fucking freaked <laughs> him. <laughs> he left. He was in love with you. He Story said. Story of my life. Story of my life. Um, yes, he, you said I'm Oh, he married. did say I looked pretty. He said you were pretty. Said he pretty. thought you were adorable. He wanted to hook up. And then you said, I'm married. Oh, and you oh, dropped oh. the M-bomb. Oh, and he just he left. Left. He went in the bathroom and I think he threw up. I can't find where the, the comments are. Oh, Patty. Patty, stop it. Patty and her technology. I can't read the comments. Hold on. Can you read them? I need glasses. Okay, Mag- Joe Magaga. Go. Magaha. You always go Magaga. I like, Magaha. I like Magaga better. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, oh, my looking. God. I need to rent Jacob's Ladder now. Oh, yes. I'm fa- I'm very, I'm fantastic in it. <laughs> You're pa- he You're likes you. Patty, li- he likes you, Patty. He doesn't I like love you. Joe Magaga. Magaga doesn't like me, which is fine with me, he Magaga. He does like you. He does. But, you know, Hi, you're... Regina, Patty, Pamentero. Oh, Diana Pomitano. Oh, it's my cousin. Hi, Diana. Oh, your family's... No wonder you don't want to talk about your sex life, for God's Deborah sake. Deborah Sherman wrote... <laughs> your viewership <laughs> tripled. Your whole my whole family's Your watching. whole family's listening. You can't talk about your sex life. How many cousins do you have, first cousins? 14. Four, no, 14 on my dad's side. Um, I think we're almost 20 altogether. It's not like enormous, enormous. 
We're 20 okay. on my mom's side. We were 20. Okay. What, what happened? Say? How many cousins we're ta- talking about? Oh, how Our many? big families. No, I said we're 14 on my dad's side. Oh, my God. And my dad was one. I think they were seven when it was all of them. I got you beat. First cousins? Yeah. On one side? My father's one sister had eight kids, <laughs> eight or nine. Oh my God. One passed away, and then so you have to count right. it as nine. Yeah. And then my aunt had four. Uh, yeah, and the other aunt had three. The other aunt had three. Eighteen so far. Yeah. <laughs> and then my father had three. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, There's too many kids. Oh, the other one had f- three. You count the dead ones though. No. <laughs> Yes, they you do. How does somebody's lumbar spine stay in after they stretch out eight kids? Like, you would think that the human body is a eight, very resilient. Three. Yeah, it's amazing. The human body is amazing. Uh, that's Disgusting. 11. Let's I don't say know how 12. their bladders work after eight kids. They might I had not. two and my bladder is shot. They might three not. It's 15. <laughs> you still fucking Did counting. you just 15 subtract? 15 or 14. Because they were up 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. Wait, I'm, I'm redoing it. The three, I'm doing the three girls first. Oh, so that's geez. 15. She's and minusing then the dead people. my uncle is four. That's 19. <laughs> my other uncle is three. That's 22, right? 22. All right. And then my father, we, we were three. Or I have a sister, yeah. Another one? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Manny's good. The one who's alive. It's Talk about men. Talk about what happened. You, you fucking left us. We Did I scare you? You got bored? No. My voice what happened? No, Manny? not at all. No, I would love to see you. To go to the comedy. bathroom? Home, like home. I would love to work with you because uh, there's a dog. You're hysterical. Yeah. That'd be fun. Do you like the dog? Yeah. <laughs> what dog? Uh, wait. Oh. This is a, I went to the bathroom. Oh my there's god! A dog. And you there's shit a, big, a dog? No, yes. <laughs> and it's a big dog. It looks like Benji. Oh. It's so it's uh, the head but, is so big. But really? Benji was little. Benji though. was a oh, little no, dog. You know, You're thinking the, of the Beethoven. other one. Beethoven. Yeah, Beethoven. Oh, it's yeah. a Saint Bernard. Oh. Oh. You know, so. oh. Saint Bernard. The other B dog. Yeah. <laughs> Say, did it have a barrel around its neck? <laughs> no. Is it a real was dog? Was it drunk? Yeah, it's huge. It's really high. What is it doing in the bathroom? Is it here? Is it performing later at the strip? Do they really always have a little barrel on them? Little, in cartoons, the barrel, they do. Yeah, right? in cartoons, Bernard's. they do. In the Disney what movie. What was the barrel for? Does uh, anybody know? Alcohol? Was it alcohol? Yeah. Mountain Dew. Yeah. <coughs> but I think it was like bourbon. Brandy. <laughs> it was like bourbon. Well, it's brandy, but why does the dog wearing brandy? I don't understand. Because when you need a drink, you can't be carrying all that brandy to warm on you. you. Probably to warm you up. <laughs> to warm you, you up. The comments? I thought that the dog was drinking the water out of it. Like it was water for the How dog. How is he going to do that, Patty? Barrel, Patty. He goes, ah. <laughs> That's like her tissue fucking note. Hold on. Oh, I hope this note makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to Google it. I'd have to do like three things of Xanax to get on a plane because. You can't do it. They give no. me stuff to take, but if I took it, I wouldn't be able to walk I off don't the care. plane. Good. They'd have to help me get off. Oh, that's yeah. awesome, Patty. I get really <laughs> fucked up. I can't do anything. I get too fucked up. Where would you go on your honeymoon when he finally decides? You know where I want to go? Ireland. My sister just got back from Ireland. I want to go to Ireland for my honeymoon. I like. What did you learn? Because we are Irish. Yes. They wear barrels filled with brandy for avalanche victims. Go get the some person. I guess so. Because the person. dog could die by this time. You know, if I were in an avalanche, this is like with that movie Quiet Place. Like, if you step on a pin or something, they come and you scream and they kill you. Yeah. I would kill myself instead of, like, I would try and, I would try and, instead of elongating it, like, I would probably try and, like, just throw yourself get, off a cliff? Get cut. Yeah, I would throw myself off a cliff. See, I don't think I would. avalanche covers you, though. Don't you get covered? You'd be you? trapped. No, you'll be trapped. Well, you anyway. know why I wouldn't kill you're myself even anyway. if I knew I was going to die or something terrible was going to happen? Because. I think I'm very optimistic. Yeah, well, first of all, my kids forget it. I can't let them think I killed myself. But also, I'm very optimistic that someone's going to save me. It's going to happen. Because I've seen so many of those killer shows where, you know, they ever watch I Survived and the woman's like, he stabbed me 18 times. I'm running naked down the road. The thing and the thing. And they fucking live. So how about the guy that How about the guy that ran to the police? From Jeffrey Dahmer, and the police took him right back to Jeffrey Dahmer's house. I forgot about that. <laughs> and the forget- fucking guy killed him. I didn't know. Why did he bring him back to Jeffrey because Dahmer's house? Because they thought house? it was a lover, lover's quarrel. 
Because he was like 11 and Filipino, and Jeffrey Dahmer oh was like, he's my, my son God. or something. Oh, my God. Do you know Jeffrey Dahmer had a normal childhood? My daughter did a report. I thought report. you were going to say enormous balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my head is. I love that you always think so. Nor- a normal, enormous, <laughs> enormous balls. balls. A Most normal, people don't know that. A normal sort of childhood. Like, he didn't have anything. You know, like how serial killers always have yeah. either sexual abuse or something. It's usually some weird thing. So what did he have? Mental illness. I don't know. Yes. Bo- yeah, he yeah, thought he was it. born with a bad I saw bits and pieces seat. of the new thing. He said that about himself. Yeah, because he, like, he like killed the animals in the woods, the yeah, little birds. Little. No, but then he killed people and ate them. Yeah, yeah. Eventually. But then they killed him and they killed him in the... In the yeah. prison. Oh, no, they're going to kill you. If you him. do that shit, yeah. Yeah. when you go to prison, you're out. Yeah, you're gone. They're, they're the minute they, they have got, rules. The minute they go. I like the rules. They, they have, have rules standards. They, they have standards. It's not for everybody. They kill child molesters, too, yeah. because a Rapists. lot of guys who are in prison, for child molesters, you know, have had horrible you things happen to them. You know what I never realized before? What? This is going to make me sound like activist-y, obnoxious, what? poster child. So what? They probably killed him because he was gay. And it was usually you have to stay in the closet in prison. No, because I think a lot of guys in prison have gay sex with each other Be- because yeah but it's not it's on the dl i think it's because what do you like gay what do you like eat beef and kill people <laughs> <laughs> you're like what why you, that accent that why voice you, you i love, think it's being black right you now love like, yeah. you love beef and you kill children why that accent <laughs> that was a black guy voice can it be it a little warmy anything. white guy oh, listen if don't you be racist. go and do a show <laughs> listen if they can play dominic the christmas donkey at christmas what's time what's dominic the christmas donkey? Uh, uh, the italian christmas, christmas donkey. donkey if they can play Chicken that Chicken. i can do a fucking voice i don't the radio even know dominic the christmas this political correctness is it's over. Do you think I'm over. politically I correct? I, am I not think we should stop correct. the politically correct. It's over. Stop so we have the to stop nonsense. It. it has to go somewhere. It has to though. go. Because now it's like we like being outraged to be outraged. That's yes. the whole like you're the, right. The comedy You're clubs, right. The comedy likes, clubs. Yeah. You hear this what? burst. What did you just say? You like my hair? What does that mean? Oh yeah. There's a burst of laughter, and then <laughs> then they stop laughing. It's terrible. Burst of laughter, and they hold it back. No, but Long Island, they don't. No, Long Island, they laugh at anything. They used to be great. No, they're great now. I used to love performing. Nick I love I just, Long Island. I just opened for Nick DiPaolo. I mean, but his his fans, I mean, come on. Right, you, they know so what they're getting into. That's true. Nick's fans. He's genius. That's not for everybody. I like, I him. always I loved love playing, go- I still do, Governors and Brokerage and whatnot, because they would laugh at anything. And uh, then it got more sensitive. It's a little sensitive. That's sensitive. But you got to tell them to shut the fuck up and cut the shit. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they go along. I like they're them. sensitive they in the did. city clubs. They're very until sensitive recently. in the city clubs. Yeah, sometimes clubs. they're sensitive they in the city They always did until recently on Long Island. Yeah. Also, it got sensitive. Oh, well. Who cares? Oh. <laughs> I do. <laughs> he said. Man, he's very sensitive. I'm very sensitive, and I'm a comic. You are. You're too yes. sensitive, Manny. He just Manny did the gets Borgata for a week. Congratulations, Manny. Thank you. Seven and he's going to be on the Kevin Very Can nice. Wait show next year. <laughs> putting who? that out in the universe. What are you going to be on? The Kevin Can Wait. Oh, putting, it oh, putting it out in the universe. Oh, good. Remember the secret. Yes, or whatever. the secret. Not a secret <laughs> anymore. No, because yeah. you told everybody. Because yeah. now my I'm family be knows. Making deliveries <laughs> to the Kevin Can Wait. Why not? You could be the del- you'd be a I, great delivery I think guy. we should all have a TV show. Putting that out there. Okay, Put I'm it putting out it out there. Yeah, me too. Hashtag me too. Uh, <laughs> you used that one incorrectly. We should. Oh, I was going to talk about Me Too, but it's too late. All yeah, right. I don't want to talk about that. Not that no. stupid. Okay, calm down. Me Carrie too, and I disagree calm. about Me Too. I, I was, yeah, just I I was going to ask them if they it. had Me Too stories, but it's, it's too late. I don't late. disagree with the Me Too. I just think too many women are bullshitting. No, I don't. But, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, you two told each other to shut the F up. Oh, my God, we were really going at it. I, the, I'm all for the Me Too movement. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for it if it's real. If a, if a kid gets, you know, if a girl gets put in a situation that she shouldn't be in, you know what I mean? <laughs> but not if you're, you know, a Why is Frank Poor. <laughs> and you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. She sounds like everybody I grew up with on Long Island. <laughs> She is so Long Island. She is so Long Island, Carrie. I fucking know a liar. Long Island personified. I'm a liar when I see one. Listen, Frank. I didn't know. Listen. I love my fucking hairdresser. He's a fucking, he's yes. a fucking fruit just like you. Oh I God. love faggots. They're so fruity. fucking funny. He's a tooty fruit. The fucking, you know, with the clothes and the hay he dances. He's fucking funny. You, you know. She's not a Long Island Jap. She's a Long Island Gap. Yeah. Greek yeah. Oh yeah, a gap. A gap. Yeah. I don't want to pay for the fucking surgery and shit. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know. No. 
But uh, anyway, Patty, that's my stance. All right. Well, we'll we'll talk about it another time with me. <laughs> hashtag too. not me. It's yeah. too <laughs> hashtag not me for another show, another show, another time. That's a good one, Frank. That is a good that, one. That's gonna me. be my thing. That's the Fox News, not me. the Fox like News it. version. But men can have me twos, right? Men can be me tooed. Of course. Correct. You know But so you don't think Anthony Rapp should have? Uh, I think he sh could have just waited a little bit. It was like a story he told at parties as a gag for years. Well, maybe it was hurting him mentally. Now all of a sudden you're pro hashtag me too. Oh, maybe it was right, hurting it just him. Hurt. <laughs> yeah, what happened, Karen? It's like, well, it's real, Frank. It's real. Hold on a second. I'm I'm not saying that. I'm Why saying are you that. a pro man? I'm all pro because <laughs> I am a man. No, I'm all, I'm all We're for all three the Me Too movement. Man. Today. I'm well, all, we have an I'm announcement all for, to make. We're all three guys. I'm all for the Me Too movement. You didn't get what I was saying. I'm not, not <laughs> for it. Listen up, Frank. I'm just not for the phonies. You don't right. want to be explained. That's a, we're like saying the same, works, we are saying saying the same, same thing. thing. I, I just felt like he could have waited a little bit and let women, because it was like this avalanche of a movement all of a sudden. And I guess he did contribute to it, you know, as opposed to taking away from it. But at the time, I thought that women should be able to have their say for a little bit longer. Yeah, five minutes. So That's many nice. Things That's were breaking nice. down. Because I'm a feminist. You are a feminist. I love the indigo girls, and I don't shave my armpits. <laughs> and I wear patchouli oil, and Can I just tell you, don't I know do, what lipstick is. I do love patchouli oil. I oh. wore it when I was light, in college in the light. 70s. I like love spray, it. delay, walk away. Light. What does that mean, spray, delay, spray, walk delay, away? Spray, delay, walk away means, like... You don't want the patchouli oil in the room before you are in the room. No, no. I like patchouli oil. A little oil. Beep, 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 beep. Not a See, spray. See, already you're beep, like beep, a head beep, shop. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. Already you're the tie-dye no, in the no. Jimi Hendrix t-shirts. I don't wear it now, but in the 70s, it had its day. Patchouli oil was so sexual Do you know what that smells delicious. like? Do you know? Yeah. You what? do? I have no Balls. idea. Oh. No, it smells I don't like... Know. You know what patchouli no, oil smells musky. like. Yes, you musky. Know. Musky. Yeah. It smells like hippie. Oh, a musk? Like you know exactly a musk? what it smells like. Oh, I know musky. what you're talking about. That, yeah, it's got that fresh smell. That like... No. No, it's not a fresh smell. It's, like, it's like an old person's like balls dirt. in Woodstock. It's like a dirt. Like if it's you stuck horrible. your nose in wood well, and... Why would I want to smell like that? It smells like sex. Why would I want to smell that? Old sex. Patchouli. Patchouli oil? Man, he's going out to get some. I want to smell some sex. It smells like sex. I want to smell me some sex. Put it on, we'll get lucky. I, I want know. some sex. <laughs> All right, we should end at some point. Let's so do it. Adam where can go going? home. Where? We, you can say where. Well, you plug. Here's our plug time. Plug yourself. Oh, Thursday plug I'm going to be at. What patchouli oil. Oh, Jesus. The um the green room at the Yotel. What is it, the green room 42? Has anyone been there yet? No. Is where that like is a it? trending spot What's now? a Yotel? The Yotel's the hotel. Is it in? It's on like 42nd and like, it's like right outside the Lincoln Tunnel and 10th. I, think you, I think you should get to know where it is before you actually. I don't have to go yet. Carrie, I got time. You I got the Google Thursday. Maps. I'll use it later. <laughs> I she got love her Thursday. voice. Come on. I, I love got, her voice. I fucking love, love her. I know. I got too. time. I'll you find too. the show before Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it called, the club? The Green Room. They're oh. doing oh, shows at the, the Yotel. It's in a hotel. But it's called, it's the called, the hotel is called Yotel. Yotel. Oh. Hotel is called a Yotel. Yes. It's, like very it's called modern. Yotel. It's modern. And it's the green room. And there's like machines in it. Did you ever see when you drive by? No. I don't know if, if these machines like take your baggage. <laughs> oh. I swear this is real. It sounds weird now. That is weird. Sounds cool. I'll investigate it. Okay, All right. And us. then what about Friday, Saturday? Um, oh, I'm in Connecticut on Saturday, so you probably won't come. Well, there my web, are people. Oh, there I'm are in Connecticut people. on Saturday. My, my website, it's reginadechico.com. Yes, and what's your Twitter handle? What's your Twitter handle? My Twitter handle. Everything is Regina DeChico. Instagram is regina.dechico. Twitter is at Regina DeChico. I didn't know, is Instagram different it's than, just than Twitter? Because I have the same It sure thing. is, Patty. I mean, you can pick the same <laughs> name, but it's sure Oh, I don't know how that two works. Two different things. You didn't, uh, you didn't take the married name. No. Ugh. No, What's well, his last name? John's last name is Coogan. Oh, Coogan's good for I, comedy. I sound like old Cougar. lady Coogan. Regina Coogan. Doesn't yeah, it sound like, like that? It. I'd be like, get these kids off my lawn. <laughs> old lady Coogan's out again. But you here's know. the problem. Does it sound right? How do, you, how do you fucking spell DeChico? That's the hardest name to spell. And it gets butch. It's so, last night, I literally, the host I was like, I'm going to mess it up. And I'm like, oh my God, DeChico, like, Chico. And then he literally said something, and I was like. 
And he's like, I fucked him. <laughs> I'm like, did. you sure did. You, did. you have It's the, easy. It Chico. Out. Her, Chico. Her family's stores are in my neighborhood. I got two Dechicos where I'm at. What I are they? Dechico and Sons. In Supermarket. Westchester? They're fucking what? great. Westchester, right? You yeah. come from money. Let me tell, I got from supermarket. Let me tell you something. The best <laughs> gluten-free section at Dechicos. Uh, the best. That's so funny. Guacamole at the Chico's. It's award winning guacamole, Patty. Not only that. It's award winning guacamole. And I used to say to my husband, my fiance, how do you pronounce that? De Sikis? De Sico? De Kikos? De Kikis? What the fuck is the Chico? Guacamole. Not only that, my daughter worked. That's at the right. Chico's That's because right. I called her up. She tried to get a job there, and I go, Patty calls "Can me. you put a you know? Oh, she's got connections. Can you put a word in for my daughter? Call your father, Anna." And she did, and Anna I got did. a job there. Thank you so oh, much. That was a summer look, job. At, Patty at returned the, Chico's. the favor and got you on Chico's. Got this free <laughs> podcast. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. All right, where are you going to be, Frank? I'm going to be, I should plug, I'm recording an album. Oh, yeah. Wait, do your parents yeah. own any kind of grocery stores? No, they own Tombstones at Calverton. <laughs> oh, it's a corner no. unit, though. It's, oh, it is. No. It's on the corner. It's real nice. Are you going to go there, too? Where? Where is it? Is it mausoleum, or are they you in all the ground? sleeping no, together? No, I want to be, like, pecked away on What's a mountain pecked away? top. Pecked away. What do you pecked mean? away. By, oh, by birds? It's a mouthwash. Thrown by off birds? Away. Pecked away by, like, hawks. By yeah. Birds. So I don't know. I just want to be left. I want to get cremated. Yeah, I don't want to be in a box. You know what the new thing is? The new thing is now they take your remains and they stick them in this pot. You become a tree. Garbage and you become disposal. a fucking tree. You become a tree. What oh. are you talking about? You become a tree in a pot. It's the new green thing. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, not, it's true. This is I just thing. don't want to be in a box. You want to be a tree. I don't want to be burned, though. No, I want to stay alive. I want alive. to be an apple tree so people can <laughs> eat me all the I time. I want to stay alive. I don't want to come back as, like, a, a servant in a third world country with one of those things that stretches my neck out. <laughs> I'm so scared. It's not going to happen. Wanna, You'll come back like, as a pig. I don't want to be an insect Why or an pig? animal. You're going to no. be, you're dead is dead, right? I don't think so. I you don't think, think so? There's got to be an energy that connects. There's got to be That's something. That's what she believes. That's See, what she it believes. may not be like pearly gates and whatnot, but, it's you know. Something. You think it's There's something? something. You, there the, has to be. The Roach Motel is the new plaza in the next life, uh. you know. You never know. I'm going to be recording my album at New York Comedy Club on Sunday, April 22nd. Oh, okay. okay. About that. Uh, at 7 and 9.15. Two shows. Very Two good. Two shows. Nice. I'm going to be in Atlantic City next Thursday. Where? The, 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 the 19th. The Tropicana. Oh, the, I love that. The, Who, kiss, the Tropicana kiss, still has shows? The Kiss Kiss Lounge. There were poles the on stage. It's beautiful. Lounge. You're kidding me. Oh, no. The strip I want to work there. Fairfield, Connecticut, the 21st. Okay. But on the 22nd. Look, he's not even looking at a book. He knows all this. I'm recording an stuff. album because, of, because it's, I need stage time for this album thing. Oh, okay. okay so Singing Rodgers and Hammerstein. I love it. <laughs> you I love are? It. Singing the hits of Barbara Streisand. No, of course not. I'm doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> you can sing in your act. No. Okay. Okay, so this Friday, I'm in the city at some temple for... <laughs> You're really, I love that you work so temples. Listen, Why are they putting you at do temples? Do you? I'm doing a private temple, and they go, you got to be clean. Why what do the fuck? Why do they Why hire they you? you? Why it's would they... like hiring Patty. Hey, I can be clean. No, you can't. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. No, I, can I, be cl- I, I don't I have do to say clean fuck act. before I do the blowjob joke. I don't have to say fuck. I can take but the anyway, fucks out. But anyway, so you can that's take the where out. I am on Friday and on Saturday. I'm working for somebody. Who am I working for Saturday? Jeff. Jeff. Is it Jeff? Jeff Norris. Is it him? No. Oh, that's okay. next weekend. <laughs> this weekend I'm somewhere else. But Thursday night. I'm taking taking Thursday people? night I'm at Governor's Comedy Club <gasps> in Levittown. Friday I'm at a temple, and Saturday where the hell am I, man? Mm-hmm. Cooking dinner for me. What's going on Thursday night at Governors? They do fundraisers. If you ever want to do fun, the fundraisers there are like packed. The people are happy I to laugh. I did one where she auctioned off cat things. Like the first prize was like a bed for a cat. <laughs> yep. Cat themed fun. That sounds like they, that's, that's right. they, 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 they do the, the Chinese audience. auction. You can't call it a Chinese auction anymore. You know that, right? Why? It's because like sitting Asian. Indian style. You just can't do it. Mm. You're not allowed. Well, where are you going to be? Saturday, where are okay, I? Okay, Thursday, this coming Thursday, I am going to be yeah. with Molly Kornfeld, my daughter. Oh, We're doing right. a show together. It's at about time. 74 
What's it called? The, the 76 House. The 76 House. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Regina. And Rock. it's in Tappan, <laughs> New York, and it's a Jack Hoffman production. Remember you met Jack? I love Jack. Where anyway, in New York? I'm sorry. What did you Tappan, say? Tappan, New York. Tappan. Oh, like Tappan Z? Like Tappan Z? Tappan Z, right okay. over the Tappan Z. Okay. So they, they call it Old Tappan. We're doing a show, and I'm going to be there with my dad. There's like a million people on the show. Gladys Simon is on the show. And, oh, I saw that. Uh, Teresa um, Degatano's on, on the show. Oh, and I love An Teresa. And just, and just Karen Angrist is That's on the show. That's the one person I did. I don't, okay. Are and you then, on the show? You're no, on the show. I'm not. I'm George not. Saltz is on the show. show. He's 80 years old. Oh, yeah, I love okay. him. <laughs> so that's Thursday. Friday, oh, God, I'm working for John Pizzi. It's an all-guy show, and I'm terrified. And I don't even know where it is, but it's all men, so I think that's private. But that could go very bad. That's going to go bad. Yeah, that scares me. But Yikes. But uh, you know who's on the show with me? Uh, Jackie, um, Jokey, Jackie, Jokey the Jack Jackie Man. the Joke Jackie Man. the Joke Man Martling is there. So, so I think he'll protect me. you can always me. bail. You yeah, can I can bail. bail. And the other person is, um, uh, uh, fuck, I can't think of his name. Uh, Tommy Gooch, who I love. we okay. got to have him on the show. Tommy Gooch is there, too. Okay, so wait Tommy a minute. Tommy Gooch wants to do the show. I remember. I want to. I, want I remembered I want where I'm going to be on the 14th. <laughs> okay, where are you going to be the 14th? Private birthday party. Okay. Uh, the 21st, I please, we want to sell tickets to the New Jersey Fire <laughs> Hall Banquet in Howell, New Jersey. Uh, Manny, I'm bringing you with hold me to Jeff? To the, no, it's not a Jeff Freehold, party. it's called. Either Freehold or Howell, New Jersey. I don't know what Maybe the fuck. Maybe it's Freehold, New Saturday Jersey? Night. Maybe oh, no, it's Freehold, New Jersey is a place, too. Anyway. Well, it's oh, the New Jersey Fire. Just look it up. And then I'm at the comic strip on the 20th. Okay, nice. That's it. Okay, you, where you are you guys want to know where I'm going to be? Yeah, sure, Manny. Yeah, why not? Even though you were gone the whole fucking show and just showed up at the end. Go ahead, Manny. On um, Friday, I'm going to be at Domenico's Restaurant in Levittown, opening up for Fred Rubino. That's oh, a very good, nice. That's a good club. Uh, that's a good big room. Go. <laughs> Saturday. He's going to eat more pizza than that. Saturday. Anything. I'm going to be at the American Legion raising money for a St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Oh, that's, that's a nice, good Manny. Line. Very good. Uh, yeah. You're a good guy, Manny. Uh, thank you. Uh, I love you guys. Love you too. And we're here at the rec room. We're with at Adam the rec room. at Live at the Comic Show. And please, I know people probably tuned off by now, but. <laughs> But here's the thing. If you're still on listening to all our you're shit, still on. if you're still there, would you please subscribe and leave a um, comment on YouTube? You wanted hey, to do that. We got right? a lot Where of maybe subscribing to. The, uh, you know, we didn't fucking talk about that Ziggerberger guy. Who's Ziggerberger? Zuckerberg. Okay, Zuckerberg. Okay, we, we got to talk Zuckerberg. another time. If I don't okay. go to the bathroom, it's gonna my bladder's gonna okay, burst. Okay, go. All right, so please subscribe. Let thank you so much, Frank Liotto. Liotti. Liotti. Okay, I fucking okay. Liotti, Patty, Liotti, and Regina DiCicco, and Patty. Manny, and then thank you, Patty. Adam thank Hineker. You, Regina. Thank, you. thank you guys for having us. No, we, 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 we love you. We love you. We love you, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Manny. Yeah. All right. okay, that I was a long one. I'm sorry. So Is that too much. long? That's it was so a little funny. Long.